Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of how to make a one week and map in Fortnite. So guys in this episode I'm gonna be making the spawn island, the spawn part actually. So guys to make the spawn part you need to choose a grid in your island. So I'm choosing this big grid right here. So guys this island I created, and when you create an island then it will give a lot of options as I told in the last video. So I selected the Excel grid island which looks like this. So guys I'll just go to this grid right here. This is the center grid I think. Now guys here I'll click on tab. So if you click on tab this pop up will open. If it doesn't look like this in the top middle right here click on creative. And right here click on prefabs. Then this kind of thing will open. But you have to go to galleries. So here I'm doing structure black gallery. So I'll just type structure black gallery. It's your choice. You can also do the obstacle course galleries, floor galleries, and everything, and wall galleries. But I'm choosing the black gallery because I want my map, one v one map, to be black. So if I open this up, there will be a lot of things. But guys, these structures we we'll use in the next video because the spawn will be. Uh, the obstacle course gallery so first guys i'll click on the floor gallery then i click on open then guys i'll just choose this floor right here there are a lot of different options i'm choosing this one right here then i'm clicking on equip so as you can see it's right there in my one spot then if i just click on the button the phone button right here i am not be able to tell what it is you can see it for yourself it's the button under escape key and in the left of one so guys now if i click on once you will have something like this so as you can see but you will actually have something like this like you will be able to place it everywhere but you won't be able to place it like you know these things like floors so guys to fix that just select it again then in the left there are a lot of things paste and everything so guys right here in the grid snap in the left under drops the fourth one from the fifth one from the bottom grid snap for that you need to click on v so if i click on v1 it will do a little bit grid snap if i click on it again it will do another so like first it was off then it became 32 now it's 16 now it's 8 now it's 4 and now it's 2 and now it's 1 so guys for floors the grid snap should be 1 so now i'm gonna fill this entire grid area and guys so for that just select where you want to do it then click left click then like you know if you move your mouse the floor will move so you can just click and make this entire so guys i am i'll just cut the video to where it's done and waste the time or you can make barriers so guys if you first want if you want to make the walls just go to galleries like obstacle course obstacle course wall gallery gallery i'll open it and take the wall so i can i'm i'm not able to find it where is it go right here i'll click on equip now it's at number two when i click on number two it's right here you might be able to see it's not lining up with the floor as it should for that guys currently the grid snap is one for walls the grid snap should be set to two so now it's happening and if you want to rotate and click on r to rotate in clockwise direction and if click on e to rotate in anti-clockwise direction E and R and guys if for example you are not able to rotate it like I am supposed to like I am rotating so then guys like for example you are rotating it like this it's rotating like this for you or it's rotating like this for you to fix that guys in the left as you can see under rotate there is tab and rotation axis it's currently roll if i click on tab it changes so it's roll your and pitch you need to make it your then it will be able to rotate it properly so either you can just do this and guys when you are making the map make sure this side right here comes to the inner side that people can see and the outer side outer side blank either you can do this or fill the entire thing with this or you can you just need to find the middle so i'll just count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so number 4 will be middle 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so these two blocks are middle so i'll place two holes over here 
So guys, if you go to devices, you see a lot of devices as I told, and I'll just find it, guys. Uh, I'm trying to find it. So okay, I'm not able to find it actually. So guys, I'm pausing the video. I'll just resume it when I find the device. Then, so right now it's transparent. I'll just use it to increase the width. Just to increase the width, increase this part. Now I'm just gonna increase the width by one more. So as you can see, it's not fully done in both directions, but it's kind of done. I'll just remove this barrier device. So as you can see, it's not fully done. So I'll just increase it a little bit more, so it covers it fully. So guys, it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit outside the area. That actually doesn't matter by a lot. So okay, guys. And guys, if you don't want to make it go outside the area, you can just decrease it by one because no one will try to go in the corner. And right now it perfectly matches with this, but not this. So I'll just create another barrier device over here. I'll just place another one. So guys, right here, the depth, if you increase it, makes it go more up and more down also, I think. Yeah, it makes it go up and down. And the height makes it go behind, like the height makes it go from this to this. So guys, the height will remain one for our map, and the depth I'm just gonna increase it to ten for our spawn place. So guys, it doesn't matter a lot for the spawn place how much you want it to be. I'm just gonna make it ten, just like that. If you want, you can just increase it to five. So five if you want to make it five high on this one. So I'm just gonna make it five just to show. So right here also, guys, I'll do the same settings. So it's seven five one over here. Barrier style, I'll make it pure black. So right here. So this won't be seven. This will just be one. This will be five. So that's pure black now. So guys, there are a lot of colors. There's one translucent. Like this, and then there's pure black as you already saw. Then there's stone like this. There's thread plate which is this basically. There's brick which is this direct brick. There's gloss black black which looks like black but different. Okay, I lost it. I'll go here again. And then there's sky blue. Then there is a red real. Red force field. And then there are different color force fields like red and then blue and then there should be a green green one also. Okay, never mind. There's nebula. That's just galaxy color. So for our one v one map, we'll use nebula, not for the spawn. So after that, there's red nebula. Then there's ne green nebula. And then there's purple nebula as you can see so the purple one we'll use for our map actually then there's a star field which looks good and then there's a red star field and like all the different colors of star fields so for our spawn we'll use the red star field okay there is a red star field as you can see, this will be our spawn. So I will make it kind of space themed because Nebula is also space themed, and this will also be space themed. So guys, we'll just go to these settings right here. There are a lot of settings. So block weapon fire, yes, enabled during phase. We need to make it gameplay only. Base with base visible no, and these are all the things. So as you can see, that these are the default settings. So now I'll just copy this by left clicking it and put put it right. I'll paste it right over here. Never mind. You can't copy the things. You can't copy these things. So I'll just count again. One, two, three, four. So one device right here. Like this. And I'm gonna make it star field red. Like this. Okay, it's perfect. And wait, the settings are not editable. Wait, it was glitching. So seven, five, and one. 
as you can see guys the same settings like last time and i'm just gonna place another one right here so guys i'll complete it all and then resume the video as well guys these two blocks are in the center so there are two blocks in the center you can place it on any one of them so i'll just calculate again so one two three right from here three from here two of these this so this will be the center because then it's six here and then six here six here okay guys these are the two blocks i'm sure now so guys right here i'll place the mutator zones on any one of these so guys i want to make it even so i'll just place it on both of these it's completely your choice where you want to place them so guys actually i'm only gonna make one of these so if i'll just place the wooden the normal floor back over here with grid snap of one so now guys i'm gonna increase the height i'll remember this is the center one so width i'll increase it to seven you can make it bigger than your island because it doesn't matter outside the spawn i mean so depth also i'll make it eight so as you can see now it's covering this entire area i just need to increase it both by one more and now it will perfectly cover the entire area and a little more so now guys i'll go to the zone options again so zone visible during game no base visible during game no so these things won't be visible this won't be visible during the game allow building no so no one can build or shoot over here so uh, enable that game start yes as you can see pick up lifespan selected team affected teams selected class and that all we do not need all of that so now guys we need spawn locations so i'll just go to a player spawn pad i'll equip it on my number 3 stall i'll disable grid snap actually i'll make it 32 16 so i'll place 9 spawn pads in total and people will spawn in the sky if there are no spawn pads so i'll just gonna place spawn pad 1 right over here and then grid snap off some spawn pads over here one in the perfect center and then around them so there are a total of nine spawn pads so now guys if i start the game we'll spawn on these spawn pads as you can see now i'm on the spawn pad and right now i can't see anything but i've seen any game so i'm able to see it so as you can see guys there's a barrier over here and if i click on the build option it says can't build right now and if i click on my mouse it shows cannot like it cannot Showing the pickaxe or anything. So, guys, this was the part one of creating this one. So, guys, stay tuned for part two, and I'm out. See you later.